to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Laura. I share all kinds of homemaking and motherhood videos here on my YouTube channel. Today is all about spring. We are getting in the mood for spring. Here in Canada, it is still quite chilly out. It's quite gray, but I am feeling the urge to just clean up a little bit to awaken the spring cheer and joy. And so that's what we are doing here in this video. I'm gonna take you along over the next couple of days. I made a list of things to share in this video. So we are going to do some baking projects together. I have a couple things to bake. I would love to sprinkle a little bit of decor for spring. I don't go all out with spring decor and it's not something that I'm just going to spend a lot of time doing, but I do have a few things that I want to add, some flowers, some little decorations. I would love to spend some time planning our garden. This year I'm going to try my hand at gardening for the first time, so I would love to spend some time just planning, thinking through. I won't be planting for a while, but I want to prepare and gather some inspiration and information for that, as well as make a meal together. I have a fun recipe to try out. It is the afternoon. We went grocery shopping. And so right now I'm going to put those groceries away, tidy up a little bit. And then my plan is for this afternoon to get some baking done. I was like regretting not ordering it, but turns out I did. So this is truly free. I'm using it. It was recommended by a friend of mine, actually a few friends, and it's like all concentrate. So I'm going to fill these up and start using them today as I clean. good for now. I like the pop of blue that the plate adds. I would love to add more color to this area, but I feel like there's a lot of like stone and like the same color mugs and things like that. So I would love to add some color, but it's okay for now. I do still have this little plate as well as this pitcher. I did just put this wooden little cutting board under this plant and this little rabbit I got when we were in the States recently. I picked up this little guy as well as this other one and they were so cute. I actually went back to the store for them because they were so, so cute and I'm glad that I brought them home. I also picked up these flowers this morning from the grocery store. They were so inexpensive. Tulips are my favorite flower. I would have them in my home all the time if I could, if it didn't cost so much money, but I'm going to put these into this vase. 
add some more color. flavors and I have seen some people doing like lavender coffees I just don't think I would care for that I love like the richer flavors so I'm not sure what to make I don't even know if I want iced or hot I think we'll just start making it and see what happens yesterday just talking to a mom friend at a baby shower and we were just chatting briefly about how important it is as moms and just anybody to take breaks and to take time to rest, recharge spiritually, emotionally, physically. And I tend to be go, go, go. And I feel like just our society, our culture, the way it is, it's so fast paced. And there's really, I think, something to be said. I'm learning slowly that we need breaks and we need that time to rest. And so I've been trying to implement a intentional rest time for me each day. I'm not always good at actually doing it. Um, sometimes it just gets pushed off, but today I'm gonna take that time during a nap time to spend some time with my gardening journal. This is something that I got from Amazon. I've already been reading through and looking at it a little bit, but I want to go a little bit more in depth and actually spend some time planning our garden, what we're going to be planting, making some notes, doing some research. I really like this little book and how it's laid out. There's lots of information geared towards new gardeners as well as space to plan imagine, write notes, checklists, a log book. There's so much information. So I'm going to enjoy my coffee and take some notes, maybe do some reading before we get started on baking. So I'm going to start out small. So we are going to plant tomatoes and basil. I've read that those two work well together. I forget what that's called, um, but they're good to plant together. And I think I'm just going to put them in a pot. I think we're just going to do one tomato plant. I want to do bell peppers and jalapenos. And then that's pretty much it for veggies. Might do lettuce as well. My thinking is to just grow ingredients for things that we use a lot of. So we use a lot of tomatoes, jalapenos, peppers, and those things also go well together. I can make soup, I can make sauce, I can add them to salads. So I know if we have a plethora, they will definitely get used up. And then I also want to do some flowers. So I want to plant cosmos, zinnias, maybe sweet peas, and maybe peonies. I don't know, we'll see. And then I just wrote a list of things that I also will need to get since we don't really have many gardening tools. I think we're going to do the raised flower, the raised bed. And then I want to get some seed catalogs just kind of to learn. And then I want to get, like I'll need to get gardening gloves, I'll need to get like a spade. Um, and then the planters as well. So I've been looking on Facebook, trying to source different things that are either used or people you know, don't need anymore so that we can do it more affordably, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. I'm gonna go get up Danny from his nap and then we're going to get started baking. I have been wanting to, I haven't really baked in a while and 
There's a few things that I'm going to need baked goods for as well as this weekend is actually Easter coming up. So we have family um, get togethers and then also just other things going on. So I want to bake and then also gift some loaves to some people. So I'm gonna work on that and put together a little gift um, of the loaf. I don't know if I'll do that today or tomorrow. And then also tomorrow I have something else to bake. So today we're going to do a carrot loaf. Um, trying a new recipe. I don't know if I've actually ever done a carrot loaf. I've done muffins, but I'm not exactly sure if I'm just going to leave it as is or do like a cream cheese icing, I think would be really fun on top. But either way, I'm excited to get into the kitchen, especially now that it is cleaned and spend some time baking. All right, well that is all done. That feels good to have those in the oven. Now I'm going to whip up a tzatziki sauce for our dinner.
is the next day. We've just been enjoying a quiet morning at home. Danny's already had his first nap. It's about lunchtime now and we're just keeping it chill today. I think kind of just wanting to stay at home. I've been super tired recently. We've just had a lot going on. So just feeling the need for a bit of a rest day, a little bit slower paced. Still have a couple things to do, but we're gonna keep it a little bit more chill. But I do wanna show you some of our spring book collection. I love the idea of having books for the seasons and I've got some recently that I have thrifted for spring. So this one, a spring surprise I thought was so cute. I've never seen these little Peter Rabbit ones, but I love Peter Rabbit and this one was really sweet. I thrifted that one as well as Bunny Roo I Love You, which I guess could be more like Valentine's Day, but I feel like bunnies are spring. And this one I was really thrilled about. I did actually buy this one new. We have other ones by The Baby Believer. This one is really sweet. It goes through different aspects of a garden with different verses. So we've been enjoying those as well as The Velveteen Rabbit. Of course, that is such a classic sweet book. And then just a couple more that I did share in my thrift haul video. We have this spring one as well as this one, Busy Spring. So I'm really excited about these. I love thrifting kids books because I love having a large collection. I'm definitely not minimal when it comes to books, but they're expensive. And so finding them, thrifting is great as well as thrift books, I believe it's called. I did get some other ones from there as well. Again, really affordable. So I'm thankful for online thrifting, thrift store finds to help add to our book collection. while I make lunch. I so enjoy making my own bread. I enjoy it because it's fun for me, it's a hobby, and it's good for us, but I am also all about modern convenience, which is why I'm gonna be using Pillsbury croissant rolls for our lunch today. I'm gonna add some ham and cheese and make some little sandwiches. This was a request of Silas's, so <laughs> he'll be excited to have these for lunch. I wanna keep it real on here. While I do enjoy making from scratch, Sometimes you just gotta use what you have. So that's what we're doing today. Also, quick tip, I'm gonna freeze our pancakes from this morning. I love whenever we make pancakes to make like a big batch. And then I just pop them in a freezer bag, freeze them, and they make an awesome quick breakfast because you can take a couple out frozen, put them in the toaster. I like to toast them a couple times and you have a pancake breakfast. How cool is that? I can never remember how to open these things. I'm supposed to use a spoon. Oh. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. After nap time, I think we'll go for a walk. I'm just having some of my carrot cake that I made. Honestly, it's not the best. It's quite dense and dry. It almost feels like it's overdone, but I don't think it was. And you know what I was thinking about? I never tried this recipe before, but there was no butter in the recipe, which I thought was really interesting. I just feel like you need butter in cakes and loaves and <laughs> I think that is probably what is missing. There was four eggs so I wonder if they just used eggs in replacement of butter and hope that it would be like moist. 
but it's not really. It's okay, the icing definitely helps. Um, but yeah, I will leave the recipe in the description box, but I want to let you know that it didn't turn out quite as I envisioned, but I will leave it down there in case you are still wanting to try it. I have a little bit of computer work to work on. I have some orders to fulfill. I'll probably just work on some things off camera and pick it up in a little bit. for dinner super easy with nan bread as the crust and we did hawaiian with like pineapple and ham and then like a veggie pepperoni one so that was really delicious and now we're just gonna have a cozy evening i'm going to spend some time working on my spring vision board and i want to also share what i came up with for a spring bucket list definitely still a work in progress but so far i have thrift a quilt i would love to thrift like an antique looking quilt for picnics to kind of keep around the house for years and years to come and as danny gets older pack it up to go to the park or go for a walk go for a picnic and it be our picnic blanket so i'm gonna keep my eyes open for one of those I would love to go on a picnic, go for a hike, have a pack a picnic lunch, plant flowers, plan our garden, continue planning our garden. We've already started. Would love to go to the farmer's market in spring when the sun is shining and it's warmer out. Spring clean. We are planning um, to do a full, like Silas and I both, we're going to team up and tackle a lot of spring cleaning projects. And then last thing I have is to plan our first barbecue. We're so excited to barbecue and it's something we really enjoy doing together, being outside, cooking food outside. So I would love to plan kind of like a special meal for our first barbecue to kick off the warmer season. Let me know what you have planned for spring. I want to add more ideas to my bucket list. So I'd love to read your comments and see what other ideas I can add. I feel like this is a pretty good list, but I do think that some more ideas would just round it out nicely. It took me like 10 minutes to do, but I love to set this as my desktop background on my laptop so that it just sparks some inspiration and reminds me of things that I'm wanting to do in the spring. So I chose some of these images um, based on like spring plants that we have. I would love to read more this spring. So I have the picture of the book, a little farmer's market, some very outdoorsy. I want to be outside as much as possible this spring and picnics of course starting to plan our garden and i love this bible verse that i saw it's from hosea 6 verse 3 let us press on to know the lord his going out is sure as the dawn he will come to us as the showers as the spring rains that water the earth so i added that verse on there and yeah i like how it turned out and I really enjoyed um, sharing some spring inspiration with you all. I hope you have enjoyed this video as well as we did some baking, some decorating, cleaning, getting into the mood for spring. Thanks so much for joining me. It means so much that you want to spend a part of your day with me on my channel. I have lots of exciting videos planned for April and for the coming months, so make sure you're subscribed so that you can see future videos that I upload. And of course, you can check out my Instagram to stay up to date on things that are going on, as well as new art products that I'm releasing. I currently have alphabet flashcards, number of flashcards, and prints all available in my shop. And the link is in the description if you want to check any of that out. Thanks again for being here, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.